relationships are at the heart of our community. And what that means is that we've got the order right. We understand that great educational outcomes, so often measured in terms of qualifications, are just that, they are the outcome. And what we need to really think about is, is how do we get there? We get there not by focusing on those qualifications, but by focusing on the person, on the people. They are what is special for us. So we know that pupils who feel secure, pupils who are valued, encouraged, nurtured, protected, that they, happy in coming to school, are then more likely to secure the great educational outcomes that will set them up for life. And we also understand that those outcomes are not ones that are simply measured in terms of formal qualifications but are also about how it is that that young person has developed in terms of their values and virtues into becoming a good person ready to enter the world of further education or the world of work. At the heart of all of our relationships though, in our Church of England secondary school, is our relationship with God. And that doesn't mean for our school that we're all about evangelising or we're trying to convert young people. But what it does mean are two important things. Firstly, that all of our pupils secure during their time with us an increase in their knowledge and understanding of Christian practices and the Christian faith. That's a given for all. But also for all, is a gift, a gift of encouraging our young people to develop a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And for some of them, they accept that gift willingly, straight away. For others, I know because they contact me many years after they've left St Christopher's, it's a gift that they only accept later on in their life. But it is a gift which is offered a generosity of spirit, and it's a gift that ensures that God is at the centre of this church school in all that we do. The most important relationship that we have is our relationship with him. Success, of course, isn't something that simply comes by looking behind us at what's gone on before, even though the track record of the school is so strong. Success is also about looking ahead and making sure that our teachers are best equipped to practice in the classroom in a manner which is cutting edge and forward thinking. And my emphasis there is on our teachers. Now, a number of schools now seem to have gone down the path of having more and more in the way of iPads, more in the way of tablets and computers in class, as if somehow they can replace teachers, human beings, having that day-to-day -day interaction. Lockdown over recent months, I think, has proven to us all that technology has an important role to play, but it doesn't have a critical or decisive role to play. That still sits with the individual teacher. And that's why we ensure that when we appoint staff to this school and during their time with us, that they are developed professionally so that they can offer the very best in terms of quality teaching and learning. Being a successful school isn't then just about harping on about what's gone on in the past. It's about looking to the future and making sure that we're well equipped and ready to manage that. An important relationship, of course, is relationship with learning. We want our pupils to thrive. Our emphasis is on St Christopher's, not as a hothouse where we're putting pressure on pupils to secure results that will reflect better on the school, but rather we see it as a greenhouse, somewhere where we can cultivate and help young people to grow, to become the very best that they can be. But we do know that our results are outstanding. We know at A-level that for many years, um, our 
A-level provision has been judged externally as being just that, outstanding, and that our attainment at GCSE continues to be the strongest year in, year out, for all the secondary schools in Pendle, in Burnley, Hindburn, the Ribble Valley. We're delighted by that, but we don't take it for granted. We know that that comes from a powerful partnership between the uh, talent and the imagination and the insight of our staff, the hard work and determination of our pupils, but also the cooperation and support of our parents too. It's a very potent coming together of those important parts of what makes up a successful school. Because one of the distinctive elements of the offer of St. Christopher's is the fact that we are an 11 to 18 school. Pupils who join us in September 2021, of course, can be with us for the next seven years, almost to the end of that decade. They join us as children and they leave us as young adults. And I know that the offer of those seven years is something which is very attractive to parents, knowing that their children are in safe and secure hands as we get to know them and we get to encourage them to be the very best that they can be. A key relationship is our relationship with ourselves, knowing what it is to be fully uh, alive and for our pupils, we know that they respond fulsomely to some really quite traditional standards. We know that they respond to a clear system of discipline. We know that they respond to a system of rules and requirements um, and to high expectations uh, about uniform and general demeanour. We don't mind talking about people who are polite and respectful to each other. And we don't mind reminding our pupils of our St. Christopher's standards and the role that they have to play in sustaining and maintaining those over time. They are our greatest ambassadors. And it is so disappointing that this year you're unable to come and join us in school um, and to meet them in very large numbers I know that they themselves are disappointed that they can't play a bigger role in this year's recruitment and open evening event. Mm -hmm.